Hey, what's up everyone? How you all doing today? Welcome to episode 8 of our Adeptus Mechanicus Let's Play series with the Heretic DLC. Um, last episode was a bit of a long one. You'll have to let us know what you think. We've, obviously, the first few episodes were about 20 minutes long. The last one's about an hour. Um, we were thinking about cutting it into two episodes, but weren't sure whether people would be a bit gutted and actually want to watch the whole thing through. So, let us know what you think about that one. Um, we've obviously recorded a couple of episodes in advance, so it'll take us a little while to to adjust to the changes if, if anyone recommends any, but otherwise we're just going to keep on going with one mission per episode, however long it is. Um, so, we've got a bit of Blackstone, let's go get some upgrades on the go. Um, so I think Leonardo's is still... At least let's check, we've got five, rank six, rank five, yeah, cool. So let's get one for Leonardus here. And I think what we're gonna do with this chap is we're gonna take him down Yeah, down this tree here. He's gonna be our healer. So we've already got a chest piece. Um legs the HP and energy armor, a bit of physical armor from the helmet, two HP to the gauntlets. Then we'll go for the well, trousers, legs, cape. Down, whatever. Bit of HP, bit of extra movement. Um, hasn't unlocked an augment slot. He's rank six, leaving for now. Get rank five up to six. So, who's this Minarius? That's what we got here. Killing target. Troop units. Reveal enemy stats when in melee range. I think we're going to do this one for Monarius. Get him to be our... Um, our beefcake. If that has unlocked an augment slot for him. So, I think this gun here... Single target melee attack here as a melee weapon, so we're going to use that. So he's going to end up being a melee focused character. Um, okay, so we've still got plenty of blackstone. We can get another upgrade or two going in for the other guys. Um, he's actually got two weapons on him now, so let's upgrade one of these guys, try and get another slot going. Yeah, Leonardus again. Okay, what could we do? Yeah, let's get the extra. Restore the HP at the end of the turn. This guy can stay alive for longer, he can heal more people. So he's now got a slot unlocked. So I think we're going to take off the scanner. Put on this refractor field, refractor field generator. It says it distorts the image of the wearer with a shimmering cloak of energy. Incoming attacks that strike the field will be refracted into multispectral bursts that dissipate into harmlessness. Basically puts up a bubble shield. And everyone that stands in it is safe. We still have one slot. Did that not take a slot up? It did. We've still got one free. Okay, so... He can take another gun, I think. No augment slots required two. Okay. Um... So these ones can only be slotted up the top. I think this one, here we go. Get the little stabby stick in, just for now. Jeremiah, he's got the canister, he's got two bits of armor. Only one gun, so let's get him another upgrade, see if we can get, get a gun on him. Oh no, it's Jem. No, I don't want to do Jeremiah yet, I don't think. I do. I do. He was um, Leonardo to be upgraded as well, wasn't it? So I think we'll give him a bit of extra range. On his guns, we'll turn him into a bit of a shooter. Now, again, we've only got one augment slot and I really want to get this other gun on him. Um, what's that? 
Yeah, both the axes cost one. I think we'll just take that Sanctus canister off for now. So he's got two guns, a healer, two armor. This guy's got two guns, two armor. This guy's got only one gun, but he's got the bubble shield and two armor. So we're pretty balanced. Okay, so let's see what we got. Okay, is that Videk? He hasn't got a submission. We might do this one. We've had this one for a few a few turns now and not got it done. Is that another Croatia Claw and a Vanguard Alpha? That's a flame up, that's a boss. Okay, we're going to do this one. We've had this mission lurking for a while. Find any Archaeotech from the previous excavation. And I hope that we're going to get this Phosphor Serpenta and a Noise Reductor and a good bit of Blackstone. It's a normal one. I think it might be the first normal mission we've done, so it'll probably be a little bit more taxing, but I think it'll be okay. Um, let's go for one fodder. Two of them, maybe. Let's go for another fodder. I think I'm quite... Oh, I'm happy for Canicles, but I think we got... A better one of them, didn't we? The next energy attack will do. There we go, six energy damage. So now I get an extra six energy damage, an extra nine physical. We've still got the HP on. Cool, all our slots are full. Let's go. Now, as these missions are getting a little bit longer, I'm going to try and skip through this, this text section just a little bit quicker. this one first. The remains of a small handmade altar stand in front of a necron sarcophagus in this chamber. The altar must have been made by one of the lost settlers, but the implications of its location are troubling. Scrutinize. Document this strange site to help the understanding of the settlers' actions. Search. Examine the nearby area for the remains of the altar builder. Sabotage. Pull the altar apart. It could represent desperate humans worshipping the Necrons. Hmm. I think we're going to go for document. I think sabotage. Probably not going to get much out of it. Search. We could find something, possibly. I think trying to gain a bit of knowledge could be beneficial, though. Ah. Ah, well. I have a shot. Right, the cohort comes across the skeletal corpse of a long dead settler on top of an ornate coffin-like sarcophagus. Though it is partly shattered, scattered across the chamber, the body is still intact enough to look like it died draped over the coffin. Avarice. Open the coffin to loot it for anything of value. Autopsy. Examine the skeletal corpse. Awareness. Warily search the chamber. Who knows what killed this unfortunate soul. Well, if it's already a skeleton, it was a long time ago. I don't think we're going to find anyone. Let's do an autopsy so we find out how it died. Body's withered hand still clutches a chisel with which the dead settler was attempting to deface the coffin's decoration. The settler died defiantly desecrating this monument to a slumbering necron, a fact that buoys the cohort's spirits. Cool. Not bad. Still got... The awakening increased by one, but that's going to happen anyway as we're moving forward. Let's get up into this glyph room, see if we can get anything from that. Nice 
nice green one, that's what we like. going to be more to this than meets the eye from the initial looks. Is that a platform down there maybe that's going to fly up at us? Because there's only one enemy here. So that's too good to be true. No CP. So we can't get any of our troops in yet. But I don't think we really need to be worrying about troops just now. side of him so the other guy's got a clear line of sight still. Um, let's do some juice I think. Oh look, stabby claws free. Give him a give him a little jab. I want to knock some back as well. Interesting. Um, let's get him in there. Get the scan straight in and see what's gonna happen. Platform. Oh, well, it's just going to say kill our enemies, but it's giving us another terminal to scan. It's quite interesting. Um, let's use Servo Skull just to get CP. That dude done for a minute. Is that feeling right? Um, just sit by two points. Yeah, just let's do that. So that was going to cost three to spend, so if you use our reduce, it's now only going to cost one. It's going to get a good blast in on this guy. Well worth on doing the mission to get that weapon. All right, let's move him up here, keep him in cover, play nice and safe. Let these guys come to us a bit, I think. So I think this one is a death mark, and he's probably going to um, teleport into us anyway. Um, I tell you what, let's um, quickly poke right out, get a cheap shot on him, and then poke back in. Couple of damage, and we know his stats now. Brilliant. Next. We can do this Overwatch. Oh, okay, because he's shooting. Is that still going to trigger it? No. Brilliant. So, yet again, our weapon is going to cost three. We've got one, so let's use our reducer. It's not bad, not bad. I don't know if he actually have line of sight anymore. I don't know if it does. Alright, get one more CP. Him. 
because our axe is going to deal more damage. Let's see if we can um, knock this tablet out of commission. Five, brilliant. So that means we can do the last damage with our stubby stick. We can't. Uh, no, it's no point wasting a CP just to gain one. Let's we'll leave them there, I think. We're going to save these two for the attacks on these two guys. So I don't think anyone's got their servo skill this turn. They're all, yeah, they're all recharging. So, it's going to be a bit annoying. Just had to tank that, but no choice. Now, do I try and take out the scarabs of the big guy? I have to take out the scarabs, I think, really. Well, at least he's left a nice opening for next chapter getting there. So again I'm not gonna waste my last CP by moving him. It's just gonna have to be a tank for a, for a round. up here as well haven't we? We could have all sorts come out of us. Right, let's go via this terminal. Get a CP for free. Oh, we haven't got a reduce yet. We can get one back by servo skill. Stick. So he's only on four health now, is it? Four? Yeah, so we do three to five with a axe attack, we might be lucky and get him with the opportunity. this guy just to push up into the melee combat oh, he's gonna get a double whammy I forgot about the scarabs there oh well he'll live there you go it's worth it Lens. I've got jabbed the bastard. Uh, got one point left. Yeah, we've got servo scale still. So let's see, is it gonna kill all enemies? No? Mission done? Hey! I'm 
mural depicting Lord Acropsis dominates the wall of this chamber. He is depicted at the head of a grand procession of Necrons, all carrying the implements of an astronomer aloft. Inspection. Take comprehensive pick grabs of the mural for Scaviola to examine. Invocation. Enact a ritual of purity and steadfastness before the mural to counter its corruptive power and express the superiority of mankind. Okay. Iconoclasm. Destroy the mural. Its knowledge could prove more dangerous than useful. Mm. Possibly. I'm going to go for pick the grass, try and learn something. There you go. Scaviola's happy. Brilliant issue before somebody to come to pass. Oh dear. How we got some CP? Brilliant. Right, so. We're only on an awakening level of two. So I think we're actually going to skip those guys this time. And just get straight to the um, second diamond room. It's because there's backtracking there, but that didn't cost anything. Oh, well, I've already had this one. The remnants of a long and terrified imprisonment in the tomb can be seen in this chamber. Tally marks scratched on the walls indicate a long passage of time, as do traces of a makeshift fireplace and shelter. One of the colonist expeditions was trapped here for a long time, contemplating his own demise. Shelter. Examine the remains of the makeshift shelter to learn more about whoever tried to survive here. Tally marks. Examine the tally marks. Understand the passage of time they were trapped here. Fire pit. Examine the fire pit. Maybe there is something to learn from these cinders. Oh, interesting. So all three gives us a chance of learning something. Go for fire pit. Don't know why. Buried in the ashes of a pit of the crumbling pages of a journal. The fragments can be read. <laughs> okay, start again. The fragments that can be read describe an attack by what you recognize as a Necron warrior, along with the process of the opening of its sarcophagus and observations about the technology the survivor observed in the tomb. Brilliant. Free CP. Cool bit. We've got a nice full bar now. Scan, there's one here, any more? One here, and one here. Wow, that's gonna make it jolly fun, isn't it? Um, so, 16 and 12, we're gonna start him behind them, just in case he gets shot, he's on the least health. Um, I think we'll get our Vanguard straight in here as well. Since we had a full CP bar. Ah, oh, bugger. That's right, I can shoot Attacks here, are we? Oh, I should have used a canticle to try and prop up one for some from. Um, get a free stab in on him. this. I'm going to see if it protects me from this opportunity attack. Yep, damage absorbed. Brilliant. So you can take a shot. Ah, 
that damage wasn't absorbed though. Where's it gone? It should still be up. That's weird. Yeah, it says it should last for one turn or one round. Um, so five damage to allies in range for one round. Why has it disappeared? Um, let's get one of them. Let's not heal up yet. Wainsley really needs it. I am going to cleanse myself of the acid. Not too close. There isn't an enemy back side, and he's there, so I'm just gonna push him up behind this glowy green giant bird bowl. And just keep him there, I think. Heat him up a bit, though. You can use a servo scale, get another cock line. sit there and be a tank as well I think he's going to take a shot off that guy any more cognition points anywhere yep just one let's get our last one then I don't know should I just yeah I'm just going to tank him take the hit Oh, he's not got shot at yet, which is quite interesting. Okay, well, I'll take that. Nice. Just get out of the way. These are um, these little turrets, these things. So you don't want to be stood in front of one of them. Let's get him healed up so he's all cushed in. push this guy forward a bit and leave a vanguard to maybe shoot him but he might get an attack in before 
Vanguard turn comes around, so I don't want to waste that. Okay, we've only got one point left. We haven't got any more attacks with this guy, so I may as well use that point to push him up into melee range. Lock this guy into combat. I would use the stabby tick stick, but it actually knocks the target back, which would take him out of melee range, which we don't want. Um, he's got a bit of health and he's got a bit of shield, so let's not worry about healing him just yet. There you go, he's got self repair anyway. Right, so let's send this guy down in this direction. Again, I've only got the one point. So I could use him, I could get him in close and shoot this enemy. I think I'm just going to try and lock him into combat. Provoke the opportunity attack. Ah, that makes things a bit more interesting. Oh, now it's blue. That's cool. Let's get, let's get a free shot in there. Is all this going to be blue here? That's not. Cool, that's still good. We got a free shot in there. I didn't think we were going to get. No cog points left. Nothing more we can do there. Shoot that guy. So reanimating in one turn at the moment. Oh, I can't see him. Okay. Let's put him there quick. Get rid of him. Get him cut points. Get the scan. any more by moving him. We can move him in a bit. We've got too many attacks going on up here. I should have maybe moved him into help. Little bits of shielding is really helping him stay alive, which is good. Start backing this guy up a bit. him up and occupy that one. Alright, where's our CP? We're going to collect them and collect that. So we're scaled at this one. Oh, we get a free shot. Let's just move them up a bit. You could already do... Oh, cancels. Let's heal them and cancel. Try on the last mission, I want to save that last CP. There we go, he's on full health now. Awesome. 
Let's do another one. Get all our physical extra damage in. So we can annihilate this job in. Oh yeah, 10 to 12, he's gone. Good night. CP. Just to warm it up a bit. Next turn I'll get the axe swipe on that and then clear him off out of there. Producer. Okay, let's get some stats. Yeah, nice. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. shot him. Get in Mr. Vanguard. Oh yeah. for him. forward didn't we? Yeah, he's there. Uh... Cool, that's you good Jeremiah. Don't know, I'd have put him there. Showing a bit of a choke point here. Probably can 
Este... Salem. That's handy. Scan this last one, I think that'll be mission complete. I want a free awakening, but we've only just knocked into free. So I think rather than trying to scan that one, I think we can try and blow it up. Because then at least we can knock a little bit of awakening down. Oh, we've already got 455 blackstone. We're going to get a little bit more for actually completing the mission. So, I think I'm going to play it like that. Because if I scan it, it says mission done, then I'm not going to get a chance to come back and finish it off. Let's skip that one for now. Let's skip that one. Scan or destroy, so we're all good. Well, I'll kill all enemies, so we could have scanned it, but it's all good. We still knocked our awakening down to two, so that makes a bit of a difference. The cohort approaches the area where the settlers breached the team of Acropsis. Several of the settlers were evidently caught in an attack by the Necrons woken by their intrusion and their bones still lie among the excavation tools where they fell. They prove to have numerous examples of archaeotech still clutched in their dead, bony hands. Expectations equals met. Didn't do too bad on the Blackstone loss. So we're going to get the extra arms on two there. There we go. That wasn't too bad at all, was it? A little bit of a shorter one this time. I did skip that, that one encounter, but we didn't really need it because we still managed to finish the. Uh, Tomb with only awakening level of two, so that's pretty cool. Again, we've got a nice little hall of blackstone there to get some upgrades on next time. So that's it for today, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like and subscribe if you did. Leave a comment if you did or you didn't. Any kind of feedback would be really cool, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.